Hey, it's Jay, and it's time to jabber. Hello to you, and welcome to this week's Jay's Jabberings. This week, I want to talk about depression and feeling low. I've had a pretty bad week this past week, and someone suggested me, a friend that I talked to, suggested that I might be depressed. And it got me thinking to the difference between being depressed and just feeling a bit low, feeling a bit sad. And I don't really know what the difference is. I have, in the past, been to the doctors feeling low and been signed off of work with what they've called acute stress reaction. I was going through a bad time at work and I got signed off. In the end, I left that job and moved on. But was I depressed at that point? I got referred to some counselling, which I went to. I had two or three, or maybe even more, I can't remember now, it was a fair few years ago, sessions with a counsellor. And I talked through everything I was going through. And the advice that they gave was that I was doing everything I needed to do. This past week, I've felt low again partly because of uh, some things that have happened at work or potential things that could, ha could happen at work, partly because of some personal things uh, within my life that are happening. And then there was one small thing that happened that was the straw that broke the camel's back, as it were. It was just a small thing, but it, it set me off in a downward spiral. I talked to some friends about it because I think that's one of the key things when you're feeling low or when you're feeling depressed is to talk to people who know you, talk to friends and see what they have to say. So I did that and they were very much, you need to put yourself first. I'm, I'm terrible. I, I'm very much a person who wants to help others and to do things for other people. And my friends turned and said, you've got to put yourself first you've got to do what's right for you, not necessarily what's right for everyone else. I also put something on an online group that I belong to, and two people from there gave me some advice. They said, from what I'd written, that I'd already identified what the problems were, and actually identified what I could do about them. And they were right. Um, I had put on there about not sleeping properly and not eating properly and knowing that I've got to get that sorted. And that's part of it, you know. I put on there about some decisions that I've got to make and I know I've got to sit down and do those. And these people, they turned around and said, look, you've put the problems and your solutions, you've just got to get on and do it. Am I feeling low still? Well, a little bit, yes. I've seen some friends and talked things through, and that's helped me. But when I've come away from those friends, when I've come back to my flat, on my own I sit here and the feelings start creeping back. Is that depression? Is that just normal feeling low? To be honest, as I said earlier, I don't know. I don't know the difference. So that would tell me that maybe it's not depression. It's easy for people today to say, I'm depressed. But I don't think people actually understand what depression is unless they either have been through it themselves or have known someone that has been through it. It's a word that gets thrown around. You know, I'm depressed. Oh, the world. Oh. But it's actually more than just feeling a bit low every so often. Depression is a mental illness. And in this country, unfortunately, mental illnesses are not discussed enough. They're sort of brushed under the carpet. They're ignored. People with mental illnesses are ignored. And that's not right. I don't think I am depressed. I think I'm just going through a bit of a low stage at the moment. I went out today in the sunshine and 
met a friend and we chatted and it was all great. Someone who actually has depression probably couldn't even do that. I think in society we're too keen in a way to just put labels on things. As soon as someone's feeling a bit down, a bit low, we say, oh, they're depressed. But depression, real clinical depression, is much, much worse than that. So I'm just going to end the video with some of the advice that has been given to me. So if you've stumbled across this video, then maybe you can do these things. It's things that we know, you know, it's get outside, get some fresh air, change your surroundings because we can get drawn in to feeling low when we are just stuck in one place. So get outside, go and just walk or go for a run or something like that, but get outside of the four walls where you are if you're able to. Exercise. Now, I'm not a big exercise person, but it is a fact that when you exercise, you release endorphins, which can make you feel better. So whether it is going down the gym, doing the weights, or even just dancing, put on some music and dance. The old phrase, dance like there's no one watching, but it's so true. Last night, I actually put one of the music channels on TV, and it was 90s cheesy pop. And it brought back memories from when I was at university and it it just made me smile and I danced and I sang and it made me feel better. So whether that was the exercise thing or the music, because that's another thing people say, listen to music, listen to music that you'll enjoy. Watch some TV, watch a comedy programme, watch something that you enjoy, watch a comedy film, meet friends simple as that as I say earlier I, w I went out for a um, tea and cake with a friend and for the couple of hours I was with them it I didn't think about what was making me sad so there we go get out get some fresh air exercise meet friends sometimes we get into ruts if we don't do anything about that it can become a state of mind rather than a state of being. So if you think you're in a rut, do your best to get out of it. I know it's easier said than done. I've been in it more than once in my life. That's all really I've got for this episode. I don't know if any of that's going to make any sense. Um, but I hope that maybe it will help someone. Thank you for watching and I'll see you